Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to PyLib course. So in this video lesson, I am going to talk about how to use keyboard event in PyLib. So to explain about what is keyboard event, so we use a keyboard to trigger some actions like uh, be it in mobile phones or in laptop. So whenever we press some key page, like uh, it should trigger some actions. For example, like uh, if I press upward arrow, like the object should move up. And then like if I press download arrow my object should move down similarly you can use like uh, other keyboards like other other key pages to trigger some actions so basically this is a keyboard event so we use a keyboard to trigger some action so now uh, to explain on how to use a keyboard event in PyLib so I'm going to do a simple game development like this may not be a full developed game but then like uh, this will teach you how to use a keyboard in PyLib so for that i'm going to do a project something like this so here is the fish like if i press like right arrow my fish should move to a right and if i press left arrow my fish should move right but then if i press f then my fish will flip and then you can use like uh, you can press left arrow to move your fish left and then upward arrow to move up and then similarly downward arrow to move down so this is how i use a keyboard event to trigger the movement of my fees in this game. So first thing, so I'll make sure that my Pyly code structure runs without any error. So for that, I have to import my Pyly model. And then I will define one function. Maybe I'll call this as a fish game. Okay, and then I have to pass one parameter. So for time being, let me pass this game. And then I need to repeat my function so function name is fish game and then last one should be run so make sure that uh, your pilot code structure runs without any error before you start writing your game program so let's run this code so now i did not got any error so let's begin so for that the first thing that i'm going to do is i will set a window size window size and then i will keep it a default one 640 by 480 the first thing is I'm going to draw a C and inside the C I'm going to place a fish. So for that, let me draw a C. So for that I'll name this as a C and then I will use a rectangle class and uh, I will cover the whole canvas. So for that I will just copy the height and width of this canvas. Let me paste it here and then I will put a color blue. Now uh, let me remove this pass and then let me draw a C here. So let's try to run. Okay, it's perfectly fine. We have completed drawing a C. Now let's try to place fish. And uh, for that, I have already got an image folder. And inside this image folder, I have a fish. So, so the type of the file is .png. So we have make sure that you use the same file extension. And it is inside my images folder. And this is the program. I save this as a fish game. Let me import a fish. Like let me draw a fish. So for that, I will name this as a fish. And then I will use a sprite method. And then you have to pass a location of your fish. So it is inside the images folder. And the file name is fish. And the file extension is .png. So let, now you have to draw this fish. Fish draw. Okay, let's check it. So now I have drawn a fish button like a uh, the fish is a little bit bigger in size so let's scale this fish so i will use a scale method so fish dot scale is equal to maybe i will use around 0 0.3 now let's check again okay now it's perfectly fine so now we are going to use a keyboard event like when i press a navigation keys then my fish should move according to the direction praised on my keyboard so I'll write a quote here so for that we have to use a condition like let's write for the right arrow so if key dot r i g h t right okay if key dot right is pressed that means like uh, when i press a right arrow so make sure that you write here a capital letter all should be in cap lock so when i press a right arrow on key then my fish should move to a side so for that I will change a x axis so fish.x is equal to fish.x plus like I want to animate my fish moving x axis by positive one so it is this one can be also written something like this like uh, fish.x plus or equal to one it is same thing like uh, 
this statement and this statement are same thing so but this one is more preferred because it's a little bit short now we are done for the right keys so let's check it now you see like if i press right arrow my fish moves to a right but nothing happens when i press up or down or any other keys because we have written a code only for right arrow so make sure that when you use navigation keys any upward downward or left or right make sure that you write these in capital letter so similarly let's write it for other keys as well other navigation keys so maybe i'll paste this for three times okay here i want to write left okay left when left key is pressed then my fish should move towards left so for that uh, i will decrease by one and uh, when i press upward arrow then my fish should move up so so that uh, the y axis should keep on increasing so for that i will replace this x by y and then x by y so it should be same should move upward and when i press downward arrow then my fish should decrease in y axis so i will replace this with y and then it should be decreasing by one or you can like uh, you can increase the speed of the fish with uh, increasing the value here so now uh, when i press oh it did not work that object is no attribute y or make sure that you use small letter here small letter because i've used a capital letter uh, let's try again now like uh, when i press upward arrow my fish is moving up and when i press downward arrow my fish is coming down and i could only hit left right it's working perfectly it's working perfectly so now uh what i'm going to do is like if you want to increase the speed you just need to change the value here maybe uh, replace this with three you just need to change value here so you, you see the change like uh, the movement of the fish will be a little bit fast so you see that the movement of the fish is a little bit fast so make sure that if you want to increase the object like the movement of your object then you better change the value here just now i have only thought about how to use a navigation keys so now how to use like other alphabet for example like when i am pressing right keys like my fish is not flipping so i will use any one alphabet keys to flip this so for that uh, i will use if key dot f let me use alphabet f so make sure that the keys should be in caps lock when f key is pressed so i want to flip my fish so fish dot flip okay let's try so when i pressing towards left it's working fine so but then when i press right my fish is moving backwards so i need to flip it so for that i have written a code for the f key so if i press f my fish will flip now so it works fine so if you want to flip it again then again press f so this is how you use like other alphabet keys and uh, if you want to use like uh, directional keys then you need to use left right or up down all in caps letter and if you want to use any alphabet keys then make sure that you you write it in caps letter like a b or c or a, any alphabets so if you want to use a number keys then make sure that uh, you don't include directly like a one or two or three make sure that you put underscore one like to trigger any action with the number one then you have to use that underscore before your number so if you are using any number from zero to nine then make sure that you put underscore because like uh, when you use directly one or two or three then it conveys a different meaning so for that we have to use one underscore so that's all for this video i hope uh, you have learned about how to use uh, keyboard events in pylib and uh, if you want to learn about how to use a mouse event then i have uploaded a video recently so you can check my channel on how to use a mouse event and i've demonstrated using a light bulb project so we'll see you in the next video